Well, rarely can a novel be born, adapted, filmed, and premiered all in one place, especially when that place is Indiana. But for Bloomington author Michael Carita, there was no other option for the screen adaptation of his book, So Cold the River. Callie Lichter has this story. When Michael Carita was eight years old and visiting the West Banyan Springs Hotel in French Lick for the first time, he couldn't dream of the journey that visit would take him on decades later. At the time, the building was in ruins and structurally unsound. But that visit, and more over the years as the property was restored, begged a question. How it came to exist, why it went away, and how it came back. That question sparked a ghost story that would ultimately lead to Carita's novel, So Cold the River, which is loosely based on the hotel and its history. The book was published in 2010, but there were issues adapting it into a movie. The, the moment I thought that it would not be a movie was when I heard uh, a Hollywood studio tell me that they could build it on set and keep it in L.A. and film it out there. For Carita, having the movie filmed anywhere but the West Baden Springs Hotel was never an option. He told the studios, No, you can't. And, you, know, you have no idea what the story is about. So Carita turned to Pete Yonkman president of the Cook Group, which funded the restoration and runs the hotel. And Yonkman knew just the company that was willing to film everything in state. And then I had the opportunity through Pete Yonkman to meet Zach Spicer, who is this guy who's insane, and he thought movies could be made in Indiana, and really good movies could be made in Indiana. The CEO of Pegasus Pictures, Spicer said that the opportunity to adapt the novel hit home. After sitting down with Yonkman and Carita, the team got to work laying the foundation for the screen adaptation. Mr. Bradford, my name is Erica Shaw. I'm supposed to find out about your past. And then it was really Pete and Michael uh, partnering with the hotel here and like getting them to buy in that this was a worthwhile endeavor and a good idea. Being able to make the story in Indiana in French Lick is something truly special for Spicer too. Pegasus Pictures is located in Bloomington, and Spicer is an IU alum. We've been making movies uh, in Indiana for the past five years now, and this this is the most serendipitous stars aligning, everything you know coming together for the perfect opportunity. Not only does the Hoosier State hold significance for most of the production crew, but an actor as well. Andrew J. West, who plays Josiah Bradford in the film, was thrilled to be in an adaptation of a novel he admires. For that same experience to also be taking place in my home state and for it to be such an interesting, complicated character that I, that I, that I get to play, I mean, all those things have made for an entirely unique experience. The journey that So Cold the River has taken Carita on for years is finally over. My version of it is done to see it passed on to other people who work in other creative mediums who make it their own is uh, full circle is the perfect way to describe it, really special. And after years of persistence, Carita accomplished what every Hollywood film studio told him he couldn't do, make his film on location in Indiana. I have a little flyover state kid chip on my shoulder <laughs> and I, I don't uh, mind admitting at all that it is, it's really special to say, no, we did it here, we pulled it off here and we made it with people from Indiana. And how would he describe his movie? Best Indiana thriller ever <laughs> made. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Callie Lichter. So Cold the River is in select theaters and available on demand.